The true horrors of war is a lesson that can't be taught in any classroom. Videographer Audra Brown climbing into the trenches as history came to life for a group of students. Shot. Advance the line! Let's go! Enter the trench and get into the battle! Shot, 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 shot. It's actually pretty scary. For, uh, because they're so close. These grade 8 students are finding out firsthand the brutality of World War I and what it was like for Canadian soldiers to face their enemies up close. When you kill the enemy and he's two feet away from you, we just can't imagine it. We are in a German replica World War I trench defending against the Allied forces. And before it's over, most of these soldiers will suffer gruesome deaths. One of you is dead. You're dead. About 35 to 40 percent would would die in no man's land, going over the top, and another 35 or 40 percent could in fact die inside the trench. It'd be terrifying. I couldn't do it. Ex-teacher Robin Barker James, who designed and operates this history camp in Tilsonburg, leads the students through the trench battle, describing the attack and defense styles on both sides of World War One. The only machine gun in the battle, it can shoot five bullets at a time with a one second cooldown. It's a scene that a textbook cannot match. Robin does a pretty good job at uh, making sure that the kids are aware that, you know, it's, it's not something that was exciting. It's frightening to be involved in and making sure that it's not glorified. Experiencing the reality of what Canadian war vets of the past endured is an eye-opening, even scary experience. If I had killed someone I was looking at, I wouldn't have been able to live with myself. But it's, it's scary to think about, really. This is a tribute to that incredible generation of Canes that made us a nation. The Barker James Farm will also be holding History Day camps this summer. To find out how to put yourself in the trenches, you can go to our website, citynews.ca, and click on FYI. In Tilsonburg, Audra Brown, City News.